Hello everyone, in this video let's discuss about the poem The Rape of the Lock. The Rape of the Lock is written by Alexander Pope. Uh, it was first published in the year 1712. Then again Pope reworked the work and published in the year 1714. This poem, Rape of the Lock, it is a mock epic poem. And this poem talks about the flaws of upper class people in London at that time. This poem has a story and it revolves around few main characters. Uh, the first character and the central one is Belinda. And the second main character of the poem is the Baron. Before we begin learning the poem, let's see the background story of the poem. Pope writes uh, the poem Rape of the Lock in response to a request made by his friend named John Carroll. John Carroll, he is a prominent Roman Catholic uh, person of that time. The character in the poem Belinda is referred to Arabella Farmer. There were two Roman Catholic families in England. They are the Farmers of Oxfordshire and the Browns of Berkshire. This Arabella Farmer, she was the daughter of a marriage between two Roman Catholic families which I mentioned earlier. Alexander Pope's friend John Carroll, he is explaining a story to Pope. The story is about Lord Peter who is the friend of Carroll. Lord Peter had cut off a lock of Arabella Farmer's hair and from that incident the families had been engaged in a prolonged and bitter quarrel. In order to subside the situation and the problem, Pope is writing a poem that is, the, that is this poem, The Rape of the Lock. I have chosen a quote from the poem just for the understanding. This quote is taken from the introductory part written by Alexander Pope. The staining of Miss Bailey Farmer's hair was taken too seriously and caused an estrangement between the two families. Though they had lived so long in great friendship before, a common acquaintance and well-wisher to both desired me to write a poem to make a zest of it and laugh them together again. It was with this view that I wrote the rape of the log. Before we begin, let's see who is Arabella Farmer. Arabella Farmer, she is from the upper class and she was the daughter of Henry Farmer. She is known for her beauty because she was the belle of the London society in the early 18th century. Then the family comes to know that Lord Peter had cut a lock of hair from Arabella Farmer's head. Henry's family was offended and they were no longer friendly, were in friendly terms with Peter's. And in the poem we come across Arabella Farmer as Belinda in the name Belinda. Let's see the history of the poem. This poem was first written in 1711 and it was published in the year 1712. This poem went through many stages before becoming the poem as we know it today. The first version was only two cantos long but with each version the story became progressively longer. A year later, that is after 1712 and 1713, Pope improved upon his work by polishing the piece as well as adding elements from the supernatural. However, we come across that this version was not published in the year 1714. The poem was published in the year 1717 with a collection of his work, with a collection of Pope's work. At the end, this poem has five cantos and it includes Clarissa's speech too. Clarissa is a friend of Belinda. The interesting part is that when Pope was about to finish the poem, Lord Peter, he died of smallpox and Arabella, she was married. So the continuous quarrel that was mentioned in the poem was no longer relevant. Let's see the characters. Belinda, Belinda who is a young lady, very beautiful with wondrous hair. She has two logs of hair in front which hangs gracefully like a fringes curl. Next main character is the Baron. He is a young admirer of Belinda. He is the one who plans to cut off one of her logs. 
Next is Ariel. Ariel is Belinda's guardian sylph. Sylph is a supernatural creature. Next character is Clarissa. Clarissa is a jealous friend of Belinda and she is a young lady. She is the one who gives scissors to Baron to cut off Belinda's hair. The other characters like Umbriel, Queen of Spleen, Thalestris, Sir Plume, these characters are not much important but then let me tell you who they are. Umbriel, Umbriel is the spot who enters the cave of the Queen of Spleen to seek help for Belinda. Spurt is a fairy creature. Next is Queen of Spleen. Queen of Spleen is an underworld goddess who gives Umbriel gifts for Belinda. Thalestris. Thalestris is the friend of Belinda and Thalestris he urges Sir Plume to defend Belinda's honour. Sir Plume, he is a male admirer of Thalestris. Uh, Sir Plume will only scold the Baron for cutting Belinda's hair. Let me analyse the main characters here. Belinda, she belongs to upper class and who is always seen as the centre of attention. The English society puts her on a high pedestal and it always gives her praise whenever possible. The Baron, who is the representation of Lord Peter. Lord Peter, he will explain the situation to John Curl. John Curl is a friend of uh, Alexander Pope. So upon request only Alexander Pope is writing this poem just to seek unity between the two families. Let's move to the summary of the poem. A sylph that is Ariel, he warns the young woman Belinda that something offence will be committed against her. But Ariel did not include any information such as when or where. Belinda, as she belongs to a high class a London family, she prepares herself uh, for a social event by putting on her makeup and generally she dresses her up like a doll. Now, after she dresses up, she travels to where the social event is conducted and she, she is thought to be more beautiful than anybody else in the event. Her hair, especially, is always the object of envy. And the Baron, he especially admires Belinda's beautiful golden locks of hair. He decides and attempts to cut off a lock of her hair. Because the Baron thinks that it is the finest treasure that he could hope to have. It's like, he thinks it like a possession. So since the Baron thinks the hair to be a possession, he badly wanted this lock of hair. That he even prayed to the gods and lit an altar fire to God. This incident is a good example of the satire that Pope employs in this poem. Because it is ridiculous for a person to behave such as like praying to God for a lock of hair. And in the social gathering everyone plays a card game called Omri. While playing the game, it seems clear that Baron will win, but Belinda, she did not give up her hope. Pope refers to this situation as almost life or death situation because Pope makes the card game seem like an important battle. And by doing so, he is in effect mocking high society for equating a card game to a war. And finally, when the game ends, Belinda wins the game. Clarissa appears here. Clarissa, who is a friend of Belinda. She fetches a pair of scissors for the Byron to cut Belinda's hair. And the Baron, he cuts a lock from Belinda's hair. By this, Belinda becomes angry. A fairy creature, Umbriel, appears. He travels down to the underworld to get Belinda a bag of shies and the wheel of tears. These gifts were brought by Umbriel just to comfort Belinda. Knowing that Belinda is worried for losing her lock of hair, Clarissa, she, she tries to calm Belinda, but that doesn't work. And Belinda, she throws a handful of snuff at the Baron. Snuff is a tobacco which people breathe up into the nose in the form of a powder. 
and at the end of the pattern we see that the lock of the hair is nowhere to be found. Let's see the themes employed by Pope in this poem. Pope mocks at the upper class of London. Pope uses the upper class for the basis of his poem. They are mocked in this poem because Pope believes that the upper class of London, they do not care about serious matters and they have narrow-minded ideas about the world in which they live and they do not possess the ability to look beyond trivialities. The meaning of triviality is lack of seriousness and lack of importance. So in this poem, the chaos that's happening uh, when Belinda's lock is stolen, it serves just as a poke fun at the upper class. The readers of the poem can just analyze that how ridiculous it is that uh, they get to upset at the theft of a piece of hair. Pope also exaggerates the situation so much because uh, the upper class readers will at least recognize or realize the mockery and feel embarrassed that they should act in such a manner. The next theme is trivialities. Pope, he emphasizes the idea that people should not focus on trivial things such as losing a, a piece of hair but rather should search for a truly meaningful things in life. He also says that being able to laugh at oneself and a life living for a reason, a life living once in a while is a key ingredient in having a successful life. Since the upper class society in London did not prioritize what is important, writers like Pope in 18th century they started to write using greek and roman mythology for uh, giving a dramatic effect hope this video helped you to learn about the rape of the lock see you in the next video until then take care